Hello everyone, welcome to this little painting session with me. Today I'll be painting this autumn forest with a kind of cool perspective with these overhead trees, and I'll be using watercolor and gouache. My first step was to paint the sky in the background and I'm using watercolor for this. So I put water down on the whole paper and then I'm dropping in this sky blue and I'm just kind of putting it in here randomly and then I'm going to tilt the paper and have this all blend together. When I'm painting with gouache, I really like to use watercolor as a background or for the sky. It gives a little bit more lightness to the painting and gouache can sometimes feel a little bit heavy. So this gives you a little bit more light shining through the painting and I really like that effect. Here you can see I'm tilting the paper just to blend those colors together a little bit better, leaving some light spots, but this helps to make that soft blend between the clouds and the sky. And then once I'm happy with it, I set it flat and then I'm using a dry brush to pick out some highlights again. This will give me the effect of some clouds passing over the sky here, and I'm just kind of bouncing my dry brush around, drying it off again, and then bouncing it around again. Once I'm happy with the sky, I let it dry completely, and now we're starting on the trees. I did do a pencil sketch just of the trunks and where those were, just so I could get the perspective right. And then I'm starting with the leaves and starting to layer those in with this light green here. Throughout this painting, I'm just looking at my reference photo, finding the different colors that I want to use, and using that to guide where my lights and darks should go. So here I'm starting to layer some different greens and oranges on top of each other, and I'm just gonna work my way around the painting until I'm happy with how the leaves look. Here we're almost halfway around the painting and you can see I've added some darker areas with the shadows and some darker trees. And I'm continuing to add those lighter colors, especially toward the middle of the painting where the leaves will be thinnest. This part of the painting was very meditative and relaxing for me. It was really just painting a bunch of dots in a bunch of different pretty fall colors. So this part wasn't too stressful, it just took a little while. All right, and here you can see all the leaves are done, so now we're starting in on the trunks. Um, the sun was kind of coming in from the left to the right of this painting, so the trunks on the left side are mostly in shadow, they're all very dark, and then as I work my way around, the shadows kind of rotate around the tree trunks, which was a fun challenge for me to figure out. Adding these trunks was my favorite part of the painting, it really brought it all together. I was kind of losing my way a little bit just painting the leaves, so once I painted in the trunks I could kind of edit and change anything that needed to be changed because I could see the whole painting coming together. And here we are about 30 tree trunks later, taking off the tape. This is one of my favorite parts of this painting. Um, I really love seeing the reveal and seeing it all come together. And here we have our final painting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes. Make sure to check out the description for all of my links and such, and make sure to tune back in next time for our next painting.